Rock and roll legends Rush take their much-deserved spot among the 2013 class inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on Thursday, April 18th. To commemorate their induction and to learn what inspires a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Sirius XM presents Classic Vinyl Influences. Today with Rush guitarist Alex Lyson. This is Alex Lyson from Rush. Welcome to Sirius XM's Classic Vinyl Influences. These are the 10 songs that influenced me the most on Classic Vinyl. Well, certainly Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones was a hugely influential song. Keith Richards' distorted guitar, that fuzz guitar, uh, the uh, main riff, just blew my mind when I was a 12-year-old kid and heard that for the first time. And I remember running out and buying the uh, single. And in fact, that summer, I went to Yugoslavia with my father and my sister. We were there for, wow, I think for two months or six weeks or something, visiting relatives and, and traveling through the country. And I took that with me and I played it everywhere at my relatives' homes on their record players. And um, they didn't even know what it was, but uh, I, I had it with me as my, uh, my special friend on that trip. Sirius XM's Classic Vinyl Influences. Rush's Alex Lifeson talks about The Doors. I was really into The Doors when they were around in the beginning. They were such a unique band. I know John Rutsey, the original drummer for Rush, he was a huge Doors fan. I can't say they were influential in our music, but certainly they were so fresh and different. And there was such a great personality in Jim Morrison. They just really added so much to the whole rock scene. Sirius XM's classic vinyl influences Rush's Alex Lifeson on Yes. Getty was the big Yes fan in the band, and I quite enjoyed them. I was definitely appreciated them. I don't think I was quite the fan that he was, but Steve Howe was a brilliant guitarist, and I would say that Yes was probably an influence on us. Their songwriting was quite complex. It was complicated on many levels. The songs were long and very dynamic. And those were all key elements of the way we wanted to start writing when Neil joined the band in 1974. And we wanted to move towards something a little bit different from the blues-based music that we had been playing. I've seen all good people turn their heads each day So satisfied I'm on my way I've seen all good people turn their heads each day Sirius XM's Classic Vinyl Influences Rush's Alex Lifeson remembers... Mountain. When Mountain came out, Mississippi Queen in particular, wow, that album was just so, so, so heavy for its time. It was really so refreshing. They were so strong. I remember going and seeing them at a theater in Toronto, probably May 1970, 1971, something like that. They were quite a big influence on that whole blues, heavy rock movement. Sirius XM's classic vinyl influences Rush's Alex Lifeson on The Who. You know, a couple of those bands were my favorites, but The Who was probably my favorite. The first time I heard My Generation, it was just such a fantastic anthem and Pete Townsend's playing. And there were so many Who songs, pictures of Lily, later on Tommy, of course, uh, Won't Get Fooled Again, such an identifiable band. And it's so great to know that they're on tour right now and I haven't seen them, but I've heard from so many people that they sound absolutely amazing and Pete's playing really, really well and Roger's singing well for, for a guy his age. I know that's not easy. <laughs> it's really great to know that they're still out there. Hi, this is Alex Lifeson from Rush. I've had a great career in rock and roll. These are the songs that helped shape my career. These are my classic vinyl influences on Sirius XM's classic vinyl. Cream were a very influential band, particularly Eric Clapton. Uh, they being a three-piece and Rush being a three-piece, you could see where we sort of got uh, our start and how we liked to play in the format that they were. And uh, Spoonful, I remember, was one of the first songs that I actually sat down and figured out the guitar solo that Clapton played. And the song was about 10 minutes long. So the solo section was quite long. They were, you know, they jammed on everything. And uh, I remember sitting there with my little crappy, you know, $20 record player with the, uh, you know, the three pennies taped to the arm. And, and I would play that solo and 
figure out the first three notes and then go back and play it again and get the next three notes and again and again and again. And uh, when I finally got the whole thing down and played it from front to back, I was so excited and so proud of myself. Sirius XM's classic vinyl influences Russia's Alex Lifeson on Led Zeppelin. Yeah, Led Zeppelin were, were an enormous influence, and Jimmy Page particularly for me was probably the biggest influence on me as a budding guitarist. When that first record came out in early, I think, 1969, or it was in the fall of 68 in Canada, I remember going down to the record shop and standing in line and waiting to get a copy because it was only available on import. And I immediately went over to Getty's and we sat down and listened to it a million times over. How many more times was the one song, I think, that had the biggest impact on me? It was such a cool, heavy song. And then Jimmy Page played the first half of the guitar solo with a violin bow. And that just absolutely blew my mind. Of course, I ran out and got a violin bow and tried to emulate him. And all that happened really was I got all this sticky rosin all over my guitar strings. And I had to take my guitar strings and actually boil them to get that stuff off because I couldn't afford new strings. <laughs> Sirius XM's classic vinyl influences. Rush's Alex Lifeson talks about Jimi Hendrix. It's another fantastic influence. I don't think I ever felt that I wanted to learn to play like him. I think he was too beyond that and, and too unique, but certainly very, very influential in what he did with the guitar and how he opened it up. Purple Haze, again, that first record was a mind-blowing experience. I remember getting that. And in fact, the original drummer in Rush, John Rutsey, he had a couple of older brothers that were very into music and they got that album when it first came out. And I remember going to his place and listening on his crappy $20 turntable. These are my classic vinyl influences, 10 songs that helped shape my career. I'm Alex Lifeson from Rush on Sirius XM's Classic Vinyl. You could go back and, and pick a hundred Beatles songs that were influential. They were just so influential in that period. When you think about where music was and the whole scene was and how when they came on the scene, it just revolutionized everything. It just, it, you know, everything that was before it kind of died on that day. And much like uh, Jimi Hendrix saying that you'll never hear surf music again with his first record, things just changed. And there were lots of songs that the Beatles did that were, you know, hugely influential. I remember Rain playing Rain. We, we in fact, played it in the very early, early days. We did a much longer version of it. But I loved the way the chords had that, you know, ringing tone to them. There was a feel about that. <laughs> Sirius XM's classic vinyl influences. Rush's Alex Lifeson remembers Pink Floyd. I went to see David Gilmour when he played in Toronto a few years ago. He was on his On an Island tour. That was his last um, solo record. And he played at Massey Hall, which is a beautiful old hall in Toronto. Our first live record was recorded there. We did three days there. And he played there like a lovely old symphonic hall. It seats about 2,600 people. And for the first half of the show, he played the whole new album of his On an Island. And in the second half, he played all Floyd stuff. And it sounded amazing and I went down to meet him. I had never met him before, and I wanted to bring him a gift of a, a couple of bottles of wine. We chatted about music. We chatted about the acoustic guitar and how important an instrument it is in the writing process for any kind of music. At that time, we were working on our Snakes and Arrows album, and that whole record was written on acoustic guitar because we wanted to change things up a little bit. And we talked about how... His approach was very much the same way. A lot of the records and a lot of the music that he wrote in the past, he wrote acoustically first before he translated it to the electric guitar. So it was really, really fascinating.
You've been listening to the architects of rock and roll who inspired the 2013 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee. Catch an encore presentation of classic vinyl influences with Rush guitarist Alex Lifeson. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific, or anytime at SiriusXM.com slash on demand.